Hi there. Uh, okay, so as probably a lot of you know, I've been working uh, FTA for a couple of years now since I got my foundation license. Uh, seemed like a good idea at the time because, um, you know, with a limit of 10 watts TX power, it can be a bit difficult on HF. Um, when the bands are crowded, you don't get anywhere in a pileup. I suppose you can call QRP, but, you know, it's generally a bit of a pain uh, a lot of the time. But obviously with FT8, narrow band digital mode, um, 10 watts gets you all over the world. Um, in fact, when I started FT8, the only, um, well, I used my ELAD FDM Duo because uh, I'd already bought that for DXing and it was the only transceiver that I owned when I got my foundation license. So um, uh, that was my first HF transceiver and I set it up with the additional cables for cat control, etc. Um, and it worked pretty well. In fact, I made hundreds of QSOs on five watts using that ELAD for several months. Um, latterly, I used the Yaesu FT991 in front of you. And um, now that the Icon IC756 is in the shack, uh, I'm tending to use the Yaesu for FT8 and I have it basically continually connected to one of my computers. Um, and here it is. Uh, and so the Icon basically gets used for... Um, for SSB. Um, so, as I said, about two years I've been doing this. Um, I've used it on 80 meters, 40, 30, 20, 10, 17, all, all the HF bands um, I've uh, operated FT8. Um, however, on two meters, my FT8 career is actually uh, an hour old. Um, for quite a while, I've been meaning to set up two meters. Um, and see how far my signal can get uh, on VHF. And now, my version of WSJTX, which is version 2.1.2, I can't remember if that's the latest version or not, but it didn't have the two meter frequency kind of programmed into it already. But you can actually right click the frequency table um, and add that information in yourself. And when you do that, the uh, two meter option appears on the panel. Um, did that and the cat control took over radio automatically tuned to uh, 144.174 uh, megahertz and the yesu has two antennas one for hf and one for sort of vhf uhf and um uh, and away we go and so <clears throat> as i said i've been doing this about an hour on two meters and um within that hour <clears throat> i've been fortunate enough to have been decoded uh, a couple of times already so um there they are on the map. Um, now this guy, uh, Mike Zero Delta Hotel Oscar, he has decoded my signal several times in the past hour. In fact, he decoded it again three minutes ago. Um, and this guy, there he is, he is in Crookham Village, which I don't know at all, um, but according to, um, uh, according to QRZ.com, uh, Sorry, according to PSK Reporter, he is 28 kilometers away. And then, just to prove the pudding, this guy here decoded me 27 minutes ago, and he is Golf 8 Delta Juliet Foxtrot, and he is in High Wycombe, which I do know very well. Um, and he is 23 kilometers away. So, you know, not too bad for the first hour of operation. It proves that the system's working, but what's I suppose a bit more surprising is that the antenna that I'm doing this with is here, which is a homebrew collinear built for me by a guy that works for me actually, G1ZMA, fellow radio ham, uh, constructed from some old copper piping that was lying around and currently sat on the floor in my shack near a window. Now, I'm dumping 20 amps into this thing at the moment. Um, 20 amps, 20 watts, sorry, uh, power at the moment and um, I know this antenna works really well because we tested it uh, about a week ago and he lives about three miles away from me and with five watts uh, into this antenna my signal at his QTH was 60 over nine and that's with it sat on the floor of my shack so five watts 60 over nine 
he was about he lives about three miles away so i know that the antenna works pretty well in principle um so i suppose the fact that i'm putting 20 watts into it now and i've been decoded by an operator 20 odd kilometers away i guess it's reasonable really so uh yeah and i'm, I'm and i'm so i'm happy so uh, anyway more experimentation required obviously uh and by that i mean I need to put it outside, mount it somewhere. It's pretty ugly as collinears go. Um, and it's pretty obvious. So I'm gonna mount it somewhere, probably not very high up, up off the ground. I mean, I'm already pushing my luck with my G5 RV that's sort of swaying in the breeze. Um, but my neighbors are really good about it. No one's said anything, no one's got a problem with it. Um, so I do, but I should set it up outside and see how far um, I can get my signal. Um, but there you go. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Oh, this is a box of 1970s, 60s and 70s uh, practical wireless magazines that I bought from someone at the uh, Harwell Amateur Radio Society for a, a very good price. Um, some light reading for me for the next 20 years by the looks of it. But um, I'll share some of those on another video at some point when I've had a chance to start looking through them. So there you go, FG8 on two meters. Um, my career is about an hour old, but um, it, the system the whole setup works and um, yeah, I'm interested to uh, as I said have a go with when I've got the antenna outside and um, you know I hear stories that you can get over to into Europe you know on two meters when conditions are good with a decent setup so uh, I'm definitely interested to uh, see if that works or not okay well from my shack to, uh, at a very late hour or should I say early in the morning hour I really need to be in bed uh, I'll wish you good DX and thanks for watching.